Welcome back to Water West Tippin Gymnasium for game number three between the Cal Vulcans and the Clarion, hometown Clarion Golden Eagles. The Golden Eagles are down two games to zero, Taylor. It's really been all Cal U so far. They played extremely well. Yeah. It's not only really saying that, you know, it's one of those things where Clarion hasn't exactly played bad, it's just that Cal U has played that well. Yeah, Cal U, they are definitely a team that you need to watch out for since they are a well-known team to be very aggressive and very good. Cal Yu will start off by serving in this game. Number three, the pivotal match. Can the Golden Eagles come back? Let's hope so. Only one way to find out. Biernowski with the kill attempt. Cal's playing defense. Cal comes to the close side of the court and it's down. Point to Cal Yu. Rebecca Webb is blocked. Rebecca Webb puts it back up here. Nowski with the chance now. Cal just gets it up in the air. Now Farragoni to subject. Subject to Webb. Webb gets it down. Point to the Golden Eagles. They tie it at one. Subject back to serve for the Golden Eagles. Cal sets up to the outside. That, that ball is up in the air. Biernowski has to send that ball over. Close side comes Cal Yu. And point to the Vulcans of Cal Yu. And they're gonna try to fight back for that lead. Hannah Heater is Gets that point, ties it up at two. Now we'll see Biranowski serving for the Golden Eagles. This game is tied at two. Calyu sets up to the close side of the gym. It's off the tip and point to the Vulcans. Coach Mills is arguing the call. It definitely looked like there was a tip. So Cal is a three to two lead. Ferragonio dives. And point to Cal U. One of the Clarion players went underneath the net. Clarion grabs a break there. The serve from number eight, Renee Helmer, went off the net. It is a fault, so Clarion trails now only by one with Rebecca Webb serving. Nice serve by Rebecca Webb. Cal sets up their offense right up the middle. And Megan Franz is denied. Point to the Golden Eagles. Hannah Heater was right there to lead the charge. Ties it up at four. Back to the outside comes Cal Yu. The point is in. Cal grabs that lead back, five to four. I think we're gonna see another game that just happened with these points going back and forth. And nearly a near collision by the Golden Eagles, Laura, subject to Biernowski. That ball will go out of bounds off a of Clarion player. Now it's a six to four lead for the Cal Vulcans. To Hannah Heater, good defense by Cal. And both teams playing extremely well, keeping the ball in front of them. Heater since just passes the ball over. Right up the middle comes Cal. Clarion ready for it. The 
the outside comes Cal Yu and they grab the point. Ferragonio made a diving attempt but couldn't get there. Makes it a seven to four game. Cal Yu leading. And a point for Cal Yu. And we'll see some substitutions. And for the Golden Eagles is Jocelyn Uke. Jocelyn Huchik, the five foot eight freshman from Ohio, at Notre Dame Academy, checks in and the Clary Golden Eagles get the point back. Now down eight to five off the hand of Heater Kill. Morgan Sable will check in. A very small front line right now for the Golden Eagles. With Laura's subject, Emily Stewart, and Corinne Manley. And right up the middle comes Cal Yu. Clarion gets the block. Sable gets that ball up in the air. Point to the Golden Eagles, eight to six. Or excuse me, nine to five, they will call the score and they give that point to Cal. Uchik gets the ball over. Cal going right up the middle. And Megan Franz will get the point. And timeout by Clarion. They trail 10 to five. And just, Cal seems to be pulling away. Just now, Clarion had their tallest girl out there was 5'10". That's very rare to see from the Clarion Golden Eagles. It's very rare to see, and it really doesn't match up very well against this, the Cal U front line which isn't the tallest themselves but they're so good on that front line and we're seeing the you know the replay right here just a great job by the hitters of Cal U attacking their corners Clarion playing fairly decent defense but it's just not enough the way that Cal is executing with their corner offense and then when the corners aren't open Megan Franz is right in the middle and Megan Franz had a very good day we have seen her have a very great day today. She just she just loves to go right in the middle right there. So Clarion comes back from the timeout, down 10 to five. Cal U is leading this one two games to zero. And the Golden Eagles seeing their hopes of a home playoff match slipping away with every Cal U point. To the outside, that point is in, the ball's in. Point to the Vulcans of Cal, six to the point lead, 11 to five. Julia Musi from Rio de Janeiro serves. Subject gets it up in the air. Emily Stewart, who's been quiet in this one, gets the point for the Golden Eagles off the tip. That's the lead to five. That is one thing. You really haven't seen many kills from Emily Stewart yet this game. Yeah, she's been very quiet she's on the offensive side quiet. of things. Magalowski serves for the Golden Eagles, and it's a good serve off the wrist. And number 16 for Cal, Brandy Harris, the senior. Clarion cuts that lead to four. Another bad pass by Harris and Clarion cuts the lead to three. Cal able to set this one up, they'll go to the outside. Subject gets it up in the air and denied. Point to the Vulcans. Uchik was the target for the lower subject set but she could not get quite high enough. I'm not even sure if she got the ball over the net. 12 to eight is the score. Clarion will catch a break. That'll cut the lead to three, 12 to nine. And now Rebecca Ferragonio has had a much better weekend than she did last, where her defense was very poor. 
This weekend, though, it's been all about Rebecca Ferragonio serving, and that serve there will cut the lead to two. 12 to 10, the Cal Wilkins lead, but Clarion's coming back. To the corner, attacks Cal. Subject gets it up in the air for Rebecca Webb. Ferragonio, subject, back to Webb. Webb sends that ball out of bounds. So that'll give Cal another three-point advantage. Thirteen to ten. Subject up in the air. And again, Uchik cannot get high enough above the net. And that point will go to the Balkans. 13 to 11. Bergonio to subject. And Rebecca Webb is denied point again to the Vulcans. 14 to 11. Clarion just trying to fight back into this one. The Hannah Heater gets it off the block in point. We'll see Jocelyn Uchik serve. Good serve by Uchik. Cal sets up. They'll go again to the far corner. Uchik gets the ball up. The subject back to Stewart, and Stewart is denied. Not a very good set by subject, and it lets Stewart very far away from the net. An easy block for Cal. Cal's now up 15 to 12. Trying to figure out how many each team has for substitutions. Any substitutions. Left. That's been a, seems to have been an issue so far today. Subject gets the ball up. Heater's there. Heater gets the point. So that'll cut the lead to two. 13 points for the Golden Eagles, 15 for Cal. Good serve by Rebecca Webb. It's denied by the Golden Eagles. Cal trying to keep it alive. They do. Uchik to subject. Subject to heater. It's off the block. Cal going back to the corner. Stewart will get it up. Back to subject. Now to heater. Heater will get a point. Heater with the kill. Cuts the lead to one. 15 to 14. The Golden Eagles trail now only by one. Cal attacks the corner. Uchik gets that one up in the air. Stewart sent that ball over. Cal up the middle. And Uchik will just have to send this ball over. It's off the, the pole stick, marking out of bounds. Oh, point will go to Cal. Rebecca Ferragonio will now check in for Rebecca Webb. Stewart gave it to subject. Back to Stewart. Cal ready for it. They're gonna step towards the middle. Franz will tip it. And point for the Golden Eagles. Emily Stewart finally getting on the offensive stat sheet. Again, that lead is cut to one. 16 to 15. Golden Eagles trailing now again only by one. Now Morgan Sabled. Is serving for Clarion. And that is, they're calling it out of bounds. And that was very close. Like it was in. 
It was very close to that line. I don't think either coach is particularly happy with the line judges in this game. Yeah, they're not the typical line judges that you see at every other game. And a point to Cal. Oh no, point to... Yeah, they're giving that point to Clary, and I'm not really sure any, why. There might have been an illegal hit, or maybe a Cal player went Underneath under the, the net. net or something. That was a little tricky. I didn't really understand why either. The referees really aren't saying why the points are going each way. They're just kind of pointing. And yeah, it looks like there's a lot of bad communication going on between the coaches and the, and the refs today. Uchik with the... Kill attempt, Cal plays good defense. Ferragonio to Subject, Subject back to the outside where Uchik is there. It's off the block and point to the Golden Eagles. That'll tie it up at 17 apiece. <laughs> Cal's gonna go to the corner. This is the free play for Clarion. The Crit Manley is blocked. The ball fell right back into her lap. And she had nowhere to go with it. 18 to 17 is now the score. Subject gets it up in the air for Manley. Manley sends the ball out of bounds. Point to Cal U. Timeout for Clarion. Coach Milson trying to stop the bleeding while she can. But Cal U has gained a late lead, two points, 19 to 17. And Clarion's in real trouble now. They're down two games to zero. And Cal U, for lack of a better term, is smelling, is seeing that blood in the water and going right after it, Taylor. Yeah, they definitely are. And you can see just how, you can see how tired the Clarion Golden Eagles looks compared to the Cal Vulcans. They, it's like two different teams out there, really. Like, you have a pretty energized team, and then the Clarion Eagles, they just look worn out. So back to Sir for the Cal Vulcans is their libero, Molly Delaney. Delaney serves it. Sable gets it to subject, subject. Tamley Stewart, or excuse me, that was Uchik. It's off the block. Cal still playing the ball. And it's off the block. Clarion gives up another point. And I make it a 20 to 17 lead for the Cal Vulcans. And Rebecca Baytal is checking in for Laura Subject. And a bad pass by Morgan Sabled. Morgan Sabled, the freshman from Coriopolis, a terrible pass. Re Rebecca Batel had no chance of getting to that one, and the Golden Eagles are now down by four. With Cal U four points away from closing things out. Now only three. And these are the type of passes that you do not want to be having this late into a game. No, it's absolutely not, and Clarion really Unless they pull off something miraculous in game three, they're going to fall to Cal. And Clarion hey. <laughs> gets the point there. There's down by four. Rebecca Webb will check in. And Rebecca Paragonia is back to serve for the Golden Eagles. Dive by Sable. That gives it very an opportunity, but here comes Cal. Ferragonio to subject, subject to Webb. Webb is denied up front by number 17, Miranda Fusey, the freshman middle hitter from Kensington, Ontario. Cal now leads 23 to 18. The game's played to 25. Subject puts it up in the air. Uchik gets the kill. 
Pulls Clary into within four, and Hannah Heater checks in for Sable. Set up, Cal close side. And a bad set by Laura's subject. And Jocelyn Uchik had no chance of getting that one up. She was up in the air waiting for it. And now Cal has match point 24 to 19. Uchik gets it up in the air. So subject has to dive. Ian Heater just put the ball over. And that'll be it. Cal gets the win. 25 to 19 is your final in game number three. And that'll end senior day here at Clarion Taylor. Clarion swept three games to zero, but it was a team of Cal U that was just at this point just far superior. Yeah, Cal U, they are they are definitely a more superior team. At like, least they were today. Yes, at least they were today. Like you have said in our conversations earlier to this game, Cal, they also had their their slip ups prior to this game. Like there's just times where you are you're not the best of the best, but today they, they surely definitely, were. Yeah, they definitely were. They surely were. Clary has now finished the season series against Cal U uh, to, as 0-2. Clary lost to Cal U in five games last time they played, and now they have lost three games to zero to them today at home. We will see what this means for the seeding for Clary and PSAC tournament hopes and that's about all we have here for you today thank you to all the seniors again taylor thank you thank for you too doing such a good job with volleyball it's been fun doing it with you yeah it's been great year for everyone here at cu tv i am ian hunter this is taylor deperna we'll catch you next time don't forget to watch all of the cu tv programming monday through thursday